Hello and uh, Happy New Year's Eve. Welcome to the Daily Political Tarot Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me and, and for the whole group, the whole wonderful community. Thank you. Uh, I am here 365 days of the year to take your political questions. I take your questions out of the chat. So and um, anything, um, anything in the chat that's in all caps, that's how you talk to me. Other than that, please just type normally when you're talking to others uh, because people here are so friendly and helpful and um, for, for which I am eternally grateful. It really makes a difference. Uh, and then I don't get, uh, if people can support each other and be kind and, and I don't uh, get sidetracked at, well as much. 10% of my income from uh, everything black and orange goes to feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. It's an ongoing thing. We have epic troll slayers. Thank you. And, um, oh my gosh, Renny is saying the queen of cards. I like that. Sandy loves the tiara and overlay. Sempers likes the crown. Cecilia, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, well, I've got your 12 questions for today. Um, okay, let's try. Fourth, fourth time's the charm, fifth try's the charm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been trying, he's been asking to go under that blanket for like an hour and I set it up and he doesn't and I, I and I hold it, he doesn't, and he doesn't, and he, so we just did, so it's like, anyway, okay. Cat Shepherd said you are the star flaming queen from the magic flute. <laughs> oh, thank you guys, thank you. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna jump right into the questions. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful last day of the year. I hope you have a fantastic 2022. I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the good in the world. All right, so thank you guys. All right, so uh, we're gonna start with Brenda Williams' question today. Oh, the nails. Let's see the nails. Okay, wait. They have these uh, faceted silver nails. They're fun. All right. So at uh, 3.30, we're going to start in with Brenda Williams' question. 3.30. I, um, Sarah was kind enough to go and look up, uh, try to do some digging on this question. Um, okay, so Brenda Williams' question was, what happened to the Abraham, uh, the, I, I think it was the Abraham Lincoln bust that uh, there was a photo of the Trump people when they were leaving this, like, carrying out this and it's like that's not yours that's that's not yours to take did they ever did they ever return it or what have you and i went looking for information on whether they returned it or not and, and uh sorry sarah sarah was kind enough i'm sorry to to go look to see if there was information uh but she couldn't find anything and she's really good at that kind of stuff so Brenda Williams is asking what happened to that statue that was removed from the White House? Did he five finger discount it? it apparently it's missing. Beast miss, oh good, I always wondered about that bust of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Diana Cache says quick. <laughs> she caught the, the autocorrect. And corrected herself, but the autocorrect turned it into Queen of Pentecost. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's actually let me change this to five minutes since I've been dilly dallying. 
Oh, true, Greta. What else is missing? So what happened to the Abraham Lincoln bust that was removed from the White House by the by Trump's people? I, I like your uh, wording on it. Is it five finger discounted? Did he emancipate it? I see what you did there. But she says it's missing. So what happened to the Abraham Lincoln? Because all that stuff is on loan. All that artwork that's in the um, White House it doesn't belong to the president. That's why the the president, new president, can come in and they they use they've been using the resolute desk the most, but they can change they can use if they have different desks they can use their different drapes they can use they don't have to build all that stuff from scratch. I mean, I guess quite often they do, especially if it's, it's like fabric, but it's not theirs. Anna Cashy says, please no Pentecostal rantings. I was raised Catholic, so I, I wouldn't even know how to do that. <laughs> and the way I was raised, I... Uh, do Pentecostals, do they speak in tongues? Because I just remember people in, in the Catholic churches when I was growing up just being like, what are, what, what are they doing over there? I don't know. Theft. Greed. One of the seven deadly sins. Read, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's stuff. Yes, they do, says Electra Storm. Judy Barth says, yes, big time. Ah, yes. Cat Shepherd said, yes, basically Pentecostals are Christian shaman. Oh, cool. All right, well, what happened to poor Abraham Lincoln's bust? Yeah, there was an action by the far right. Three of as we were celebrating that they that Trump was being kicked out of the White House. Five of Cups, they were all disappointed. But ah, uh, bling bling, bling bling. There's a K-pop group called Icon, I think, and they had a song called Bling Bling, Bling Bling. Oh yeah, Fruits of Labor. Look at my display. I wonder if he still has it. Ah, stealing. Stealing from the American people. Look, I, I'm, I, I can't, when it comes to, technically when it comes to theft, I cannot, um, I'm in a glass house. I, I listen, I, I sometimes listen to audiobooks on YouTube and those aren't usually put out by the publisher, you know, but it's really convenient. Um, and I feel bad about that, but, and if anybody <laughs> ever, um, oh, well, I'll, when I have audiobooks, I'll, probably put them up myself. Um, but I can't ever hold it against anybody if they do that to me. Because I've I've listened I have listened I have listened to audiobooks on YouTube. I admit that. So Sherry H says guilty as charged. I've done that too. B. Smith says, larceny, fencing stolen goods, more to the lengthy rap sheet. Oh, I don't think he sold them. Um, so, we, is it ever going to be returned? 
Yes, it will. It will eventually. If it, if it hasn't been returned, it doesn't feel like it's been returned for what it's worth. It will be. But it's kind of part of a, a um, reckoning of, of things Trump took, things Trump did, that sort of thing. Judgment. Oh, he's got big judgment ahead of him. Oh, Electra Storm, I love audiobooks too. I buy some. Occasionally I will I will listen to something on YouTube if I run across it. But here we are. Pat me. All right, seven of cups, six of swords. King of Wands, Temperance, Ten of Cups. There's Trump the man. He's <laughs> plaintiff is not president. Sherry H says I usually get my audiobooks from the library. Well, it's mine, it's mine. He left, he's a man, but there will come a come up into temperance and it, it will be returned. That's what I'm getting. So. All right. See, now I feel bad. <laughs> Good. I'm a good Catholic. I have I have confessed my sins, but I've actually confessed to all of you. So, oh, there's certainly taxes being paid for the local library too. All right. So uh, at twelve thirty, Eric Swalwell. This poor man. Had though. Cat Whisperer says, I wonder if Trump gave it to a foreign power as a payment? I don't think it's going to be worth that much. Yeah, I, I agree, Linda McMurtry. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop doing that. I didn't do it often, but you're right. I'm gonna stop doing that. Anyway. All right. So, uh, well, then again, it is it is New Year's Eve. It's a great day to to clear the slate. Um, plan to do better, be a better person, um, and um, yeah, I've got got a lot planned. Um, I've got, goodness, I still, there are tarot decks I still want to make, merchandise I still want to make, books uh, I want to publish, finish publishing in time, uh, In War should come out uh, in its entirety April 30th, and In Dark In should come out in its entirety October 25th. Still trying to find a way to create tarot cards in a way that they can be available for sale on Amazon um, without it just killing me financially. My gosh, there's a lot coming up this year. So, all right. Uh, at, I've been talking too much. Surprise. Like that's, like that's something new. All right. So Eric Swalwell asked for Twitter's help in identifying a man who threatened to shoot him after being indoctrinated by Tucker Carlson and Fox News. And I believe uh, Swalwell released 
screen captures of um, really screen captures of he, he'd like talk to this person and the person I think ended up kind of calming down and saying I didn't mean it and apologizing or something like that. Um, so, but Tucker and his ilk are inciting violence. They just are. Matter of fact, there was a, uh, there was a really good uh, roundup of political cartoons. And this was one of the best. It's by Michael DeAtter. Uh, does it have to be with Amazon? Kind of, kind of. I mean, I don't. I just don't want to do Etsy uh, for the the things and pre-orders. I'm afraid, B. Smith. Even if you do a pre-order, you don't. You don't. As the creator, you don't get that money until the product is released. So. if you can see that, where it's Tucker Carlson. It's a political cartoon. Tucker Carlson's having a um, lie detector test. And Tucker Carlson says, I lie. And the person giving the test, who, who has just paper and paper all over, all over, just says, oh my gosh, I think you just told the truth. He's shocked. That, that Tucker admitted, I lie. That's a political cartoon from this year, and yeah. He does, too. Um, so, see, there were a number of really good political cartoons by this guy. This is a good one, too, sorry. true. Sure. All the Tiki Torch Nazis. Charlottesville. Those idiots. Oh, the Maroon. But basically, are they ever going to be held accountable? They are inciting violence. Colleen says, perhaps you could crowdfund your tarot deck printing costs. Here's an idea. So, Tucker Carlson and your ilk. Will you ever be held accountable for inciting violence? They've caused so much damage. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the message, far right message. Oh, and meanwhile, Tucker's raking in more money that he doesn't even need. his wisdom, giving his wisdom to the little people. This is a liar. He was a thief, but he feels like a liar. The liar, the message. Tucker sitting pretty. What is this? This could be the poor, these poor people, what happens to them, but mm, let's double check on Chad there, the hanged man. B. Smith, I'm afraid I don't quite understand what you're saying there. A pre-order. Faithful friends, go fund you. I don't quite understand. Sorry. Oh, Tucker. Lives the lies. Your says, hello, Chad. 
Oh, that's right. Black hat, blue chair. Uh, Marjorie Trader Green is calling liberals termites. <sighs> yes, nothing like dehumanizing your enemy. When has that ever led to anything bad? Well, there's a bully encouraging people to, to be bullies, <clears throat> to be awful. Three of Cups, Three of Cups, Strength, and the Page of Pentacles. Well, this is, <clears throat> this isn't them being held accountable, but this is them um, being shunned. This is where they're not welcome in society. Where this is, the future is human rights, which includes women's rights, LGBTQ rights, on and on and on. And, and these backward thinking, narrow-minded troglodytes, uh, they're, they're left, this is where the power is, not here. He's, he's weak. But I'm not getting any, I, I've never, I've not once ever gotten cards that say that, that um, anything negative is going to happen to Tucker Carlson. He's going to have the job he has, and then he's going to leave, and he's go home, going to go home, and he's going to roll around in his vault of coins like Scrooge McDuck. And that's Tucker Carlson. I wish. Electra Storm says being shunned is the worst thing to happen to humans. We don't take that well. Well. Yeah. I'll always have like-minded people. But there is that one guy who confronted him in a cracker barrel. Tucker Carlson took his family to Cracker Barrel, who is so not surprised. Um, Rob D just won the internet. Marjorie Trader Green uh, called Democrats termites. It's dehumanizing. Uh, it's the same way that the Nazis called uh, called. Um, Jews, rats. And, um, oh wait, did it jump? Hang on. Oh, I lost it. Where it is? Oh, there's Rob's. That's from Marjorie Trader Green? I did not, not see that coming. Not see that coming. That was good. I like that. That was good. I, I completely ruined repeating that joke, but Louise Cherry saying Marjorie Trader Green is a vicious and vile person, evil at best. Yeah. Don Gubb says that Marjorie Trader Green says that new folk moving into Republican state should require a grace period before they're allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. Yep. Linda McMurtry says bad things happen to bad people. That's true. But not always. You know. It's not. Um, but we do the best we can and take care of who we can and move on. But that was really good. All right. That was a really good joke. 2430. Let's move on. The LA Times recently asked a valid question. Do Trump's January 6 sins of omission and commission make him criminally liable? Um, Lindsay, what is she talking about with the national divorce? Uh, we're, that's, number, that's question number six. We're going to be looking into her, into Marjorie Trader Green. All right, LA Times recently asked a valid question. And I'll just go back to it. Do, do, do. Basically, that's the 
That's the article. The um, people don't usually land in jail for doing nothing, but President Trump's scandalous inaction while the Capitol was under attack could be cause for a criminal referral from Congress. And basically, and he basically, what it would be, okay. Um, Commentators have suggested that as odious as Trump's silence may have been, it does little to ground a criminal case because criminal law punishes people for action rather than inaction, but that principle has important exceptions. As more evidence is revealed, it's increasingly obvious that the former president did act by encouraging this disruption of the election certification. Um, when it is a defendant, when a defendant has a legal duty to act and does not, the principle gives ground. So, as president, did Trump have a legal duty to act? Say a lifeguard neglects their duty. Yeah, that very obvious. Not surprisingly, there is no express case law on whether the Constitution's take care clause, which instructs the president to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, gives rise to a legal duty to do more than just stand by. But it's hard to see how it could be otherwise. I see. Can you say Supreme Court? Um, hang on. In Trump's case, even if he anticipated a merely peaceful rally at the Capitol on January 6th, his role in setting a deadly insurgency in motion arguably means he could not legally decline to intervene as if he was just an accidental bystander. And also, he is vulnerable to an even more potent charge. This is what I was trying to find. Aiding and abetting criminal behavior. So, happy New Year's Eve, Katie Moonchild. Cece Ryder says, uh, the presidential oath to preserve and protect. Is that too? Criminal referral. Will Trump be criminally referred to the DOJ? And thank you all for being here. There were deaths. There was damage, there were deaths, and he did nothing. Now, he was over at the White House, so would he know? This is a, this is a big, this is death, and not only the literal death, this is also, this has a lot of meaning here, and it's not good for Trump. Let's put it, let's put it that way. Thank you, Lenny Ann. Lenny? Lenny Ann? Sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Uh, let me know if let me know if that's correct, please, or wrong. Black hat blue chair just threw on Trump's part. Got all major cards. Death magician world. Nine of Pentacles. They definitely think they were sitting pretty. They were not very corrupt. Devil. Star. Justice. Yes, and he won't be alone. Trump will be criminally ref uh, referred to the DOJ, and he will not be alone. Holy cats. Uh, Memories of Echoes is the first thing I looked at today, starting at five minutes in. Um, guys. People thought they could do whatever they wanted to, but it was corruption. Hope for justice. 
it, it definitely, this definitely feels star witnesses, star. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Justice right there with other Republicans. And the energy was just wham with the death card for the reading. I don't think even, uh, Boy, this thing did, um, this thing did jump, didn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you guys. Black hat, blue chair. Yeah. So you're getting the uh, Lonnie, short for Yolanda Lonnie. Okay, Lonnie Ann. Okay, try to remember that. Okay, blue chairs. I hope you're correct. Well, I hope you're correct. It looks bad for him. It looks very bad for him. So if Trump is referred to the DOJ, the DOJ criminal referral, how's that going to turn out? Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. And happy 2022. My old be forgot. All right, that's a prosecutor. So I'm asking, will the DOJ do something? <sighs> Far right action. Oops. Big action. Insult to injury. Investigators. Uh, oh, there are some of the proud boys right now, or whatever the heck they're called, the, the, the arrogant toddlers. They are trying to, they're currently, they've been charged, they're, they are being, they, they, their lawyers just tried to get the charges dismissed because, well, what we did was First Amendment. You didn't have a sit-in, dude. You didn't have a you didn't have a peaceful protest and a sit-in. You weren't giving a speech. So the judge said sit down. Didn't work. But I'm getting these the white supremacists. I wonder if they will start talking about connections they had, who was talking to them, if what kind of organization they were a part of. Okay, Black Cat Blue Chair is a scary reading. I do have a scary reading. Dear heart, we're going to be okay. We seriously, we're going to be okay, guys. Lonnie Ann is saying definitely not a sit-in or a tourist visit. Yes. It's true, Kathy Anderson. White privileged men are not sitting in jail for their deeds. They did to children, but Maxwell is. Well, there's that too. So. Oh, definitely hemmed in. The, the energy, it's like it's like moving toward these the these militia group, white supremacist groups. High Priestess, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. So why do we have disappointment here? Oh, they're trying to kick the cups down. But there's still secrets. We have to wait. We have to wait for things to progress for the secrets to come out. And the secrets won't come out until there are people who are facing serious trouble and they're finally like, you know what, I'm not protecting these idiots. I'm not going to, to prison while Trump swans around. So I think we've got some waiting to do on that. But what about Trump? What about Trump himself? The orange menace. 
the clear and present dunder. And yes, DOJ, you can hit, you can hold a, you can press charges against a former president. Five of Pentacles. Strength. Four of Wands. Empress. Strength, America, and he's his whole base, his whole base of power, Mar-a-Lago, the building itself, the his the people, the believers, all of this. They're they feel very small. They feel very small back here. And these are major arcana of a strong America. We're in better shape than it can seem like. We really are. Okay. Uh, SB Third Eye says, did errands and home return detox today, hunkering down for January? There is a supposedly um, a big storm that's going to hit Chicago tomorrow, something like that. So we're going to be okay. 37. All right, there are some generals who are worried about um, a, a possible, the military actually being involved after the 2024 election. There are some generals who worry that the next coup attempt, possibly in 2024, could be led by members of the military. Is this something that could happen? Does Trump have his claws in that deep? Or does the far right have their claws in that deep? Military. I'm I oh, I'm getting like I'm getting mental images of of um like in action movies where one group turn one group is going to do something illegal and everybody all the other soldiers like pull their firearms and point them at the rebels, insurrectionists, and you've got this room full of military people with guns pointing at each other. Yeah, I've got, I've got some serious pushback from within the military. Like, even if, even if somebody tried, the, the rest would just be, oof. that's what it feels like. Al Menzies asking, break their oath to the USA and the Constitution. That's what they would be doing, but... And I keep getting Democrats are going to do well in the elections, so... Star. Nine of Wands, Judgment. Oh, don't even try it. There, if, if there have to be court martial, you know how they, it seems like Washington, D.C. seems to be going easy on the insurrectionists, how, you know, maybe their system can't handle that big of an influx of cases or whatever they're doing. This feels like, oh, the military, they'll make room. This, this feels like you try it, court martials, as far as the eye can see. Even if you, even, it doesn't matter if you, you could be a general. You can have as many stars on your shoulder as you want. You, you try to have, be part of a coup, you grab power, do things blatantly illegal. Judgment. This, this card feels like it is huge. And the, the energy on this card is huge. Don't do it. 
Don't even try. Don't even think about it. Vote like a regular human being and go about your business. Unless you want to spend a whole lot of time in military prison. And I mean a lot. Betty Harper says, hang in there. Absolutely. You know me. I hope you feel better, Linda. You know me. There are good days ahead. There are. Astrology with Cats 12. I love that name. Did you hear about Ted Cruz's kids? No. No, I didn't. Do tell. Do tell. All right, at 41, Steve had a question. 41. When Alex Jones had his meltdown about Trump's vaccine comment, did he lose any of the base? So people who are going to listen to Alex Jones are going to be of a particular kind anyway, but this rift between Trump and some of the others on the far right at the end. Alex Jones and the split on the far right. Refusal to take the vaccine. Refusal, refusal, medical care. That's what that is. Three of swords. Eight of cups. Three of swords, eight of cups, four of swords, lovers, those are the cult members, and two for the end. No, this is just the split between them, people who are not going to take the vaccine. cult members who believe it's wrong or dangerous or whatever. This is, no, this isn't a big deal. People are going to believe what they're going to believe. I'm just not, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to make much difference. People already, if people like that, they're already committed to the far right. And, and if, if anything could hurt Alex Jones, it would have hurt him by now. So, Sherry H is saying, my son and brother are vets and both are highly insulted and angry, military even thinking about being involved. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. So, did I... No, it's straight. It's the it's the star. Needs to go back this way a little bit. There. It's better. Oh yeah. Don Gubb saying Alex Jones and what he says about Pelosi, truly disgusting. Mm-hmm. Deb Z is asking, has anyone located De De Death Santis yet? No, I, I have not heard. There was, um, hang on. Kathy Anderson's loving the in-house fighting. Yeah. There was something I saw here and I was going to ask you guys about it. What was it? I missed it. I lost it somewhere. Thank you, Floating Lotus. Okay, I'll just I I I I'm a, whatever I was looking for. I missed it. Okay, at forty five minutes in, let's look at Marjorie Trader Green. Oh boy! So Marjorie Trader Green. Ugh, 
Joanne Mar, I agree. These people are so full of hate. The hate will eat them alive. And um, I have been accused of being hateful here. And uh, to that, I say, no. Hate is when you truly wish ill on someone. You wish them illness. You wish them death. You wish them um, suffering. I don't. I wish them justice. That's it. Karma could show up. That's cosmic justice. It has nothing to do with me. And the most I will ever do if I was trying to influence somebody else would be uh, the many times I pictured Trump surrounded by a, a mirror sphere that he was in, inside of so that it, it was mirrored on the inside so that what, what the energy he put out would come back to him more quickly. If he was nice, he'd get more benefit. If he was ugly, it would rebound onto him. It's the most I'll ever do. Thank you, Sandy Miller. Thank you. Um, So, Marjorie Trader Green is calling for a national divorce, lacking the gall to call it a civil war. Will anyone have the power to quiet her seditionist rantings anytime soon? I thought there was a, um, she's checking the phone again. No, I don't. No, cancel. Quit that. Marjorie Trader Green. Hang on. I don't have it here. Okay. She and Swalwell were going back and forth. Was this, no, she and Swalwell? No, she was she and somebody else. See, now this is going to bug me. I knew I had something on her. Here it is. An Arizona congressman calls Maj uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene a traitor for suggesting a national divorce. That was in Newsweek. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene said all possible in a national divorce scenario, after Democrat voters and big donors ruin a state like California, you would think it wise to stop them from doing it to another great state like Florida. Brainwashed people that move from California and New York really need a cooling off period. Ruben Gallego replied, there is no national divorce. Either you are for civil war or not. Just say it if you want a civil war and officially declare yourself a traitor. Traitor Green. She is riding high. She is as happy as a pig in slop. She really is. Four of once. Oh yeah, the far right loves her. They send her money. I mean, at least half of Congress people's time is spent raising money. Whereas she just goes out there, she's just as vile as she wants to be, and the money just rolls in. That's why she, they put up with her. It's the money. And what could be more Republican than that? She's just the most obnoxious far-right version of it. Eventually, she will be on the defensive for something. Uh, evidence? Um, evidence? 
January 6th. Right now, she, she, she thinks she is untouchable. I wonder if the January 6th committee is going to refer her for criminal charges to the DOJ. And they will legally reach out and touch. The green. January 6th. Four of Swords. That's silence. Quiet as a tomb. Can be legal silence. All right. Three of Cups. Moon. Six of Swords. Queen of Cups. Three of Swords. Is it possible her seat could be taken over by a Democrat at some point? I thought she was in a very, very red area. Or is this just the, the power of, of Democrats in Congress or on the committee? Because this is us being happy. They're finally doing the, when when the January 6th select committee finally comes out and when they're finally saying what they have and walking through it and, and making referrals, we will be very happy. We will also be very, very upset. And we will absolutely be all for certain people going to jail, going to prison. Um, the Queen of Cups causing just a, a le legal heartache. I think this is the committee causing her immense legal heartache. Okay, January 6th committee. That is who it looks like is most likely to take down the traitor. But we'll have to see. Oh, Alexis Nicole, thank you. Thank you for all of your help during a hard year. Hugs and bless all oh, bless. Thank you. Uh, ba -ba. Thank you, Valerie. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Semper says Marcus Flowers is running a fairly strong campaign against her. Okay. Linda Kingsley says all of Georgia is, is changing blue. Really? Okay. Um, what did I miss? Did I miss something back here? I'll have to go look. Okay, I've definitely missed something. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I wish I could do a search in the chat. Like, if there was something I was looking for, I could, you know, just type in and so I could see comments by that person. That would make my life so much easier. Okay. Semper says, yes, Blue Wave Georgia. We'll do it again for Stacy and Warnock next year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Joanne Mars said, I had a vision while 45 is making his speech that the January 6th committee is arresting people. <laughs> How awesome would that be? Okay, we have to ask. Okay, hang on. 54. And then we'll get to the rest. I'll get to the rest of the questions, but we should look at that. 54. I, I would doubt it, but um, we'll. Um, DOJ. Okay, well, insurrectionists be arrested while Trump gives his January 6, 2022 speech. Epic hack. Oh, I don't think we'd get a perp walk of Marjorie Taylor Greene on January 6th, but eh. 
I like the vibe. M. Kelpie, at least passing out to penis. We'll take that too. Christy Anderson, you probably won't be very happy here. We, we do tend to be a fairly liberal bunch. strength. We are going to keep our country. We are going to keep our democracy. High Priestess, King of Cups, Death Card, Temperance, Ten of Cups. Well, thank you, Marby. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Electra Storm saying bar was served the other day while on vacation. Really? I hadn't heard anything about that. This is about the insurrection. And people will be talking about it on January 6th. And they'll be talking about Trump. They might, I don't think they're going to fully, I don't think most places are going to fully cover whatever he's saying. Um, and he, they're just going to rake, uh, most of the media is just going to rake him over the coals. There will be temperance. There will be peace. I'm not getting necessarily rest. I am getting public shaming. And we know how much Trump likes that. Greta says bar was served with Michael Cohen Blossett. Oh, that's right. And he was... Um, he was complaining, wasn't he? Faces, I'm looking forward to a whole bunch of perp blocks. Yeah. You're not alone. We just want justice, that's it. Electra Storm by Mike Cohen, he's suing. That's right, because of, because they tried to get, um, or tried to get him to stop, not be able to publish his book. The voter, yeah. You're going to be sent back to prison unless you sign this paper saying you're not going to write anything negative about, you're not going to write a negative book about Donald Trump. That's illegal. Sorry. I thought I'd just grab a bite. It would be no big deal. It was more involved than I had anticipated. All right. At 58.30, Judge Amit Mehta had to remind the Proud Boys, the arrogant toddlers, that storming the Capitol isn't protected under free speech. Who knew? Will these idiots ever learn? And are we doomed to see history repeat itself if they don't? I want to say, should I burn my Trump dolls before the year ends or buy more with extra pens? I guess, I guess that's up to you. Boo Boo has a favorite cat toy. This little, this little fabric mouse. I can buy them, but I want to make some. I keep trying to, I keep, get, it's on my list of things to do. Long list of things to do. It seems like a better use of time, but hey, you do you. Lynn Kastner, thumbnail image in the crowd. Oh, thank you. Alicia Marie is saying more pins. You have people voting. Thank you, Janelle. Sandy Bly says more pins, longer. <laughs> As long as no one's actually getting hurt. 
If it is therapeutic for you, go for it. So, yeah, these guys are idiots. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups. So oh, the current, the government, you you don't have the right to, you don't have the right to judge us. Blah blah, sovereign citizen. Elite. Blah 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 blah. Uh, they had really nasty plans based on absolute garbage ideas. And they were going to fight for their stupidity. Now they're on the defensive, all because of this moron's encouragement. I don't have anything nice to say about white supremacists who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Um, with intent to do bodily harm to Congress people. I don't have anything nice to say about them. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, oh. Renier, my former cat, loved this, this rat with a bell on it, on its tail. I don't know how many times I sewed that rat back up. It was cremated with her together forever. Oh. Oh. Little thing. They don't ask for much. They really don't. So these idiots. Prosecuting. Being prosecuted. Uh, refusal. Far right communication. Hemmed in. Kind of garbage lands you in prison. Ta-da! Black cat, blue chair, saying they will pay eventually. The wheels of justice turn painfully slow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Semper said that swords card gave me chills and screamed justice to me. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that was good. All right, 103.30. Justin's mom had a question. 03.30. Will SCOTUS keep documents away from the January 6th committee? Supreme Court. Supreme Court. Basically, are they going to... Sorry, I'm doing this on my, my leg. I'm shuffling against my leg because it's very loud if I do it on the standing desk. Oh, Kim Hawkins says I got two kittens for the loss of my cat. I'm so sorry about losing your cat, though. It's a boy and a girl so they can keep each other company. Oh! Happy kittens. It's a good day. Okay, why is this suddenly getting so dark? I have no sparkle. I have no light to sparkle. Goodness gracious. It's like being here at night. So.
Justin's mom asked, will the Supreme Court keep documents away from the January 6th Select Committee? Uh, it feels like lots of cards want to come out, as in, uh, thank you, Sempress. Um, a lot coming out, so that doesn't feel like holding back. But there is a part of me just dealing, any reading on the Supreme Court these days, every time I do, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm just like. <sighs> what did they do now? <laughs> What did they do this time? Strength, that feels good. Okay. So, Supreme Court, are you going to keep documents away from the January 6th Select Committee? I think so. Secret, lots of burden. And a big old death card at the end. No. Let them, let the documents go. That's, that's what I'm getting. I mean, big major arcana kind of colors. Al Menzi is saying, is this about presidential privilege? Uh, whatever Trump's latest garbage argument is he has various <sighs> that's possible Rob okay um CC Ryder says I don't think they will because it will set a future precedent if the GOP takes power and want to railroad the Dems with investigations yeah they're not going to do anything to stop the Republic the, the, the far right the, the they, I like beers on the um, court. They, you know, they don't want to stop the Republicans from being able to do stuff. Messenger, far right messenger. <sighs> Seven of swords, nine of cups. Four of Pentacles, two of blah, 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 blah. No, this this was going on. This was happening here. This is, you don't have a leg to stand on. The Republicans trying to get hold of Trump. This was the communication going back and forth. And people, I'm getting information, more information, information after that, and extra information sprinkled on top. So that's that. Oh boy. Holly and friends says, I still want to know who paid off I like beer's debts. You and me both. Because Trump it said flat out, if it wasn't for me, Kavanaugh wouldn't couldn't even wouldn't even uh, have a local job as a lawyer. He wouldn't have a, a, a job in a law firm. Hello, Jolie. Okay, at 109.30, let's look at Renee V's question. Are China and Russia collaborating to create the fall of the U.S.? Russia collaborating, actively collaborating. Temperance. Lovers. Judgment, Four of Swords, 
eight of wands, three of pentacles. Not necessarily. Uh, and I'm getting, it's much more Russia than China. I mean, I, I do not underestimate how much power China wants, um, but they've they've got big they've got trading issues and they've got they've got links to the US that Russia just doesn't have they there's some benefits they get with the US being the way it is that Russia doesn't get so uh I'm getting a, a, si a card of silence in the middle. So they have times they're really upset, but actively like we're going to destroy America. China could destroy America tomorrow if they wanted to. They hold our national debt. They hold the vast majority of our national debt. If they wanted to bury us, they just would. Oh no, did we just lose Betty White? Didn't she just turn a hundred? Oh, bless. Bless you, Betty White, and all the good you did. Oh, so many people are praying for her right now. She's reuniting with loved ones and it's all, it's all, it's all very much a celebration. And she's young. She's young again. Not any pain. All the pain she had, they're just gone. I don't normally read on people who are just passing or who just passed, but it's just such good energy. It's just... Bless. And she'll be remembered well. All right. Uh, Russia, China. So, Electra Storm says January 17th, she would have been 100. Close enough. Al Menzi says she's with her love, Alan L Luden? Ludden? Alan Ludden. Bless. Alan Ludden. Patricia Franzio is saying Betty is finally with Alan Ludden, the love of her life. Aww. And what a joy. joy to have people to have made such a positive difference in the world she didn't have to be she didn't have to be mother Teresa. she didn't have to you know she was just kind and funny and try to make us laugh and yeah okay but right now, only TMZ and the Daily Mail are reporting it. CC Writer says flipped to three news channels, including CNN, MSNBC, and don't see anything about Betty White. Okay. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, she did. She made us. She made us laugh. She was the host of Password. All right. It, uh, maybe that storm's starting to move in because it's just getting darker and darker and darker. I've got the bright lights on me. I mean, like. If I, if I sit in this much longer, my eyes are going to start hurting. Let me see if I can brighten this up. There we go. Don't need too much. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Anyway. Katie Moonchild says, I get that he came and got her. He was Alan uh, Ludden. Okay, guys, is it Ludden or Luden? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm guessing it's Ludden, but I don't know. And I, in, uh, you guys have, have spelled it like three different ways. So Sam said she was going to have a big televised live celebration. Renee V says, I love Betty White. She was so funny. Had a great outlook on life. Missing her already. Could somebody please put Dolly Parton in bubble wrap? Just. Ludden. Ludden. Okay. Uh, Luden? Oh, no. Okay. Now I'm getting. <laughs> now you guys are telling me different things. Ludden. Ludden. Okay, I'll just do that. I'll just use that. Don Gubb says, Autumn reads dark topics. The lighting focuses us on your face like a wee sparkly beacon. <laughs> I love you guys. Sherry H just says, I don't have a clue how to say it. Lud, not lewd. Okay, great. Ludden. Thank you. Thank you. All right, at 117, let's look at Renee V's question. Is Xi, China's leader, the richest man in the world? Oh, Didian, like sudden. I like that. And yes, Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Xi, China's leader, is he the richest man in the world? Not in spirit. the card of lack. It's the card of poverty. Human rights abuses, anybody? Devil, queen of cups, eight of swords, ace of cups, six of pentacles. I, I can't get anything past his corruption, his destruction of human rights, <clears throat> um, fighting against, there's, there's a growing tide of, of liberalism as they see it. But they're trying to keep things under control, their communist control. Linda Kingsley says Xi is dangerous. He wants to be emperor of the planet. Here's the thing. He could be. He could certainly take us down. He could take the U.S. down. Like Our financial, entire financial system would collapse like dominoes if they decided to. But he's got issues he has to deal with, too. And I'm not getting how rich he is. All I'm getting is how vile he is. Is he the richest man in the world? It's not even really here. So I don't really have an answer because it's just awful. Linda Kingsley says, read about Quin Shi Huang, 235 BCE to 210 BCE. Xi wants to be him. All right. Got to hold it. Card fell. Hold, please. Linda Kingsley says, not really, but he is big trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Renee V says he's rich and evil. Yes. 
Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. So, all right, I really did make a mess of the hair. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, Michelle Sutherland said, I had her on a flight when I flew for Calm Air. She was a sweetheart. Oh, nice. I don't understand the vast tech nonsense stuff. And there are various versions of that. I don't understand what's the point. It's not taking you anywhere. There's nowhere to go there. I, I don't get it anyway. It doesn't matter. Snarky Sassy Pants at 121 has a question. 121. Is Ghoulain safe in prison? Will she share Epstein's fate? I've read on this a while back. I didn't get anything happening to her. But let's have a look. Um, Semper says it's true. Her agent just gave a statement to People Magazine. Aww. And CC Ryder says Channel 5 News in LA is now reporting Betty White's passing. But she's so happy. She's so happy now. She's she's out of pain. She's young. She's with the people she loves and who love her. And she is sad for the people who are left behind. But she's just... She's doing really well. Susie and Philly says, I have an autographed picture and treasure it. Oh, that is so cool. Linda Kingsley says, Joni Perry, astrologer, says she is dangerous. Well, yeah. Sandy Miller says, oh my gosh, she's glowing. Electra Storm says, we are not happy, but I am getting she's happy. And Mother Nature says, forever an icon. Yes. But right now she's not. She's not really looking back, is what I'm getting. But she is an icon. I agree with you. She's happy. Uh, going back to, sorry, 123, Ghoulain. Is she safe in prison? Um, Michael Grant says, I think she gave the evidence to someone who can release it if, if something happens to her. Lane. Snarky Sassy Pants. I like that name. She's so angry. Oh, she's so angry right now. She is livid. Uh, that's a burden. Maybe that's a lot of information about a lot of wands that are out in the world. Sun. Oh, it definitely has come to light in the, the child. Seven of Cups, Strength, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Oh, she has some people by the nose. Yeah, she is so angry. This doesn't just feel like strength. This feels like fury. Absolute Fury. I'm reading on Ghoulain, uh, Black Cat. Um, is Ghoulain safe in prison? Will she share Epstein's fate? 
I've never, I've never gotten that for her. And I don't see anything here that says anything like that. I'm seeing her fury. I mean, anger. Absolute incredible anger. And she is going to, if somebody doesn't get her out of this, she's going to make them all suffer. Please do. Go ahead. Share that information. Please do. Share your evidence. It'll make you feel better. Lonnie Ann is saying, I see her writing a book. Semper says, all right, that's it. We're going to go wrap Dolly Parton in bubble wrap. Please do. Dolly Parton is so cool. She is just the best. I I wish I was half as cool. I wish I was quarter as, as cool as, as uh, Dolly Parton is. Betty Harper says, good, I'm glad she's angry. Linda Kingsley says, G Max is going to talk. I like that. G Max is going to talk, but if no video, she has nothing. She needs receipts. Gulane. Lonnie Ann is saying, Dolly Parton is all about love. Mm hmm. I saw a little clip of her the other day where she was um, she was on a some kind of show with Patti LaBelle, I think it was, and they were creating a, um, Dolly Parton was saying that when she can't, I know, this is not Ghislaine Maxwell, but I, I'm trying to get out of this energy for just a second. Dolly Parton was saying when some, she's uh, somewhere where she doesn't have access to um, instruments, like she'll be in the car. Uh, she'll she'll be writing songs and stuff, and so she'll just start she'll start tapping on the the dashboard or something. She said the other thing is you take your acrylic nails, and you go like this, and then she started saying, um, she, I I don't know that I don't I don't remember the tune, but it's something about shortbread." But anyway. She's so cool. Anyway. <sighs> right now, men are thinking maybe if she's not if she's not coming out with receipts, but then again, the FBI raided all of Epstein's stuff and they got stuff on his computer. So why hasn't that come out. Yes, DDN. That's it. Mama's little baby. Mama's little baby. Love shortbread, shortbread. That was it. The Ten of Cups star. Oh, that's being on camera. I don't know about this, but that, that's, that's receipts. What's this? Is this the the family man image? CC Ryder says that's how Dolly created nine to five too. Oh, so cool. So Jeff Sitzman says it's also the typewriter clicking at the beginning of nine to five. Very cool. Uh, Don Gubb says, start the first word lower. Fate. Fate. Is it Terzak? Terzak? I'm so sorry. Faye is saying Dolly wrote nine to five on her nails. That's so cool. Oh, she's going to hang some people up. It really does feel like she's going to, she's so angry. Oh, I am not suffering while you do nothing. 
Oh, that's not happening. Whoo, boy. Virginia Thomas says she wants to flip a queen of cups. I'm not sure. Virginia Thomas says she's going to blackmail a queen of cups to flip justice. Oh, okay. I'm just getting rage. I am not doing, I am not going to prison. I am not going to prison while all of you walk out there. Oh, she is so mad. Oh my gosh. Betty Harper says, I hope she's so angry she forgets to be prudent. She's appealing. I, I'd be floored if she didn't appeal, but she's got to get through, through the appeal first. New Year's Eve, everybody. Uh, it is one, okay, 131. We have another question here from Snarky Sassy Pants. 13130. All right. Also, uh, Snarky Sassy Pants, you were asking if John Ray will be hit by the sword of justice because the obstructed justice for Tom Spada, Spoda, and James Burke in covering up things. I don't, I don't, be honest, I don't know who any of those people are. Um, I, I'm so sorry, but I've got your, I've, 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 I'm answering two of your three questions. So, uh, and your question is, Marky Sassy Pants, will Prince Andrew go to prison? See if anything there has changed at 132. Will Prince Andrew go to prison? Hey, Andrew, how's it going? Jeff Sitzman says the American public is not prepared for how many powerful men are involved. Yeah. And, you know, I noticed the other day, uh, no, I noticed this morning, there was an article that someone reminded us that didn't the prosecute didn't Greenberg's lawyer say that Matt Gates had reason to worry? He said that back in April. It's the last day of the year. I've got to look at his transits or something. There's got to be. <clears throat> hey Prince Andrew. How's it going? Oh, you're too royal to go to prison, huh? That's what you think, huh? That's what you think. Seven of Wands. Oh, on the defensive. Um, hang on. You guys are talking about this. Semper says Greenberg's sensing extension was until mid-January, I think. The judge granted it because of cooperation. Okay, so mid-January. Thank you for reminding me, Semper. Thank you. All right. And Snarky Sassy Pants says Jupiter just went into zero Pisces. True. Prince Andrew has his son at zero Pisces. Jupiter, expose, expose can also be luck though, but it also gives overconfidence, big time overconfidence. So <sighs> Pam is saying his mom is protecting him. Mm -hmm. Sorry, so on the defensive, that's that. okay. Prince Andrew, evidence, 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 laid out three of ones world. Three of Cups. He's going to have to pay out the nose. Now, I'm not getting criminal, but I'm getting him having to pay out the nose. And his world, as he's known it, is done. That's what I've been getting regularly on him. So... 
these horrible men will get their comeuppance. Yay. So what, uh, what, what are you guys doing as far as, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Do you have, um, I'm done, I'm done with the readings for today, but I want to know what, what are you guys planning for? Do you, do you, maybe some of you, you don't do New Year's resolutions or are there things you want to, to, uh, work on this year? Oh, thank you. Let me just take this out of here while I'm waiting for a second for you guys to answer. And save that. Okay. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I hope this is your best year ever. I really do. Desrat says, I just want an honest year, even if painful. I like that. I like that a lot. B. Smith says, I choose a word of the year, but not settled on mine yet. Oh, okay. Linda Johnson saying, Bill Gates better start worrying if Maxwell starts to spill beans. Oh, okay. Uh, G. Covington is working on self-love and health. Absolutely fantastic. Deb Z says, no resolutions. Not setting myself up for failure. Intentions, yes. Good, good. Krista March is taking art classes online. Cool. Holly and Fran says, I open my gratitude jar and read the notes I've put in throughout the year. Oh, that is great. Carmela is saying, I just wrote out some wishes. Resolutions are broken too quickly. Fair enough. Um, Renier says, it's cold here. Staying home with my coffee, my new tarot deck, and looking at 2022 with it. Oh, wow. That sounds interesting. Sempress, I'm so sorry you went through that. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, Jean. Uh, Jean A is saying, I make a board of things. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Judy Arellano is saying, keep putting one foot in front of the other. Yes. Michael Grant wants to walk a thousand miles next year. So you would walk 500 miles and then walk 500 more. I like it. Is that like a certain number of steps a day, your, your pedometer or something like that? Lonnie Ann is saying, I'm taking care of husband who's having soldier replacement surgery in January. Oh, bless. Good luck. Good luck. Bless. Bless, bless. Cindy Miller says, meditate more, stress less, concentrate on good health. Good, good. Judy Barth says, smile more, love more, and kind people in my life only. That's good stuff right there. Uh Pam, oh, Pam's saying, what, you like the nails. Oh, good, thank you. Yeah. Faceted. I also have them in gold and pink. Polly Wanda says, I'm going on a diet. Hope to lose two ounces. And Electra Storm says, I'm just continuing what I've been doing this year, working on getting better health, getting a new job, just letting people know I won't hold back what I feel. Good healthy expression. Faces this year, I'm going to try to learn about the cards and start to read them. Okay, good. Cat Shepherd says, I'm going to, I'm going to travel and have adventures for the first time in a decade. Oh, Rainy HJ is saying, happy new year. Enjoying my first grandchild this coming year. He's two months old, plus back to healthy eating. Nice. Charles Carey says, the usual, quit smoking. It's, it's, a, it's hard. It's hard. Yep. My father smoked two packs a day of Marlboro for 40 years. It, yeah. <sighs> brutal stuff. It's, it's brutal trying to quit. But good luck. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, Virginia Thomas says, I have invoked... So when I do readings like that, I often have to reserve and reverse what the advice is and tell the energy, no, you're not doing it this way. 
Okay. Okay. So I just want to make sure I don't, I, I think I'm missing some. Oh, here we go. Linda Kingsley says, good fortune to all, peace and prosperity to all. Uh, Sherry H says, I'm setting intentions to learn more, to grow my channel and be able to help others. I'm going to put up, I'm going to create a, um, hang on. I'm going to create a post. I need, hello, I need a pen. All right. I'm going to put up a, um, I can't promise everybody that, that, that this will work, but um, I would like to have some of you read with me, come read with me, some. I'm a, I've, I've been leery of saying anything just because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I'm going to create a, a post in the community chat. Um, if you show your face on your channel and you are a reader, uh, if you put your channel information <clears throat> in your, um, if you put your channel information, link to your channel in this community post I'm going to put up here in a little while. Um, if you'd like to come read here with me, we can do that. All right. But it, it won't necessarily be everybody. I'm only going to have so many slots. I'm only going to, please, please, please don't, don't, uh, don't, don't feel bad or don't take it as criticism or anything negative if I, I only choose certain people. I have to go by my intuition and I'm going to ask cards and so, okay. Um, but I, I want to, I want to help you guys. I want to do anything I can to help you support you. And um, so I've been meaning to do this, but I just, I'm just so afraid I'm going to hurt people's feelings and, and I don't want to do that, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Um, you guys have such great uh, resolutions here. I'm sorry. I'm not reading more of them. I'm actually like, my voice is getting very dry. Um, and Jeff Sitzman is saying less sugar, more positive vibrations. Yeah, that's that's good. Higher higher vibrations always great. Kathy Anderson, 2022, cry less, laugh more, have fun. Good. All right. Jeff Sitzman says, Grandpa's the best job ever. Oh. Okay, Michael Grant says 10,000 steps is about five miles. Okay, so I'll have to do the math. <laughs> I can't do the math off the top of my head, I'm sorry. Okay, giving peace a chance, having a nap. Black hat, blue chick, get the courage to go on YouTube. Semper says, oh, this is a kick in the butt. I need to finally start doing readings on here too. Oh, somebody quit smoking. My goodness, there's, there's, you guys are so great coming up with your, um, your, I'm sorry if I didn't read them out loud, but I will, I'm going to go back and read them. Um, by the way, I do read, I do read your comments. Um, I'm just, I'm not always on the right account. So sometimes, so most, well, actually most of the time I, I can't heart things like I, I should, um, I, but I do do thumbs up. You do lots of thumbs up. So please don't think that I'm not reading your comments because I, I do. So um, I just on my phone, it's so much easier to just be in my personal account because I've, because I watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, I've got YouTube premium. So I don't have to, um, I don't have to watch advertisements. So, um, Anyway, all right, and Don Gubb is going to vote. I'm going to encourage everyone to vote, vote, vote. Fantastic. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Have a wonderful, safe evening, rest of your day, and um, let's start the new year tomorrow. Let's, let's start a really good year tomorrow, all right? Hang in there. 
there are good days ahead. Don't forget. All right. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. Oh, and at four o'clock, I will be over at Book Art Media. You're always welcome. If you want to, if, if, if you're, if you're, um, if any of your intentions or resolutions have to do with spending more time doing anything creative, you're always welcome. From, from 4 to 6 p.m. in Chicago time, Central time, we're always over there. Doing our own creative projects and just encouraging, encouraging each other in the three minutes between these 25-minute work blocks. So you're always welcome. All right, guys. Take care.